Hey there, drone fans. Today I'd like to try to help you decide which DJI Air 3S drone package is right for you. Now, the Air 3S is the very latest release from DJI and includes a lot of leading edge features that make it a great choice for both new flyers and even experienced or commercial flyers that are looking for an upgrade. But the challenge is DJI offers the Air 3S with a choice of two controllers and they also offer it as a fly more combo that includes a lot of extra accessories. Now, you may be wondering which of the two controllers is right for you and do you really need that fly more combination? So in this video, I'll explain the differences between the controllers and I'll dive into what's included in the Flymore combination so you can make the right choice for your budget and your flying needs. But before I get to that, let me talk a little bit about the Air 3S because I think this is an incredibly cool drone. So for starters, this is an upgrade from the Air 3, which was an upgrade from the Air 2S and the Air 2, but it includes so many cool features. Starting with the fact that this drone can fly for up to 45 minutes on a fully charged battery, which is unbelievable. That gives you plenty of air time to get up in the air, get out on a point of interest, capture a lot of video, take a lot of great pictures, and still have plenty of battery left to get back to your home point and land safely. It also uses the very latest OcuSync 4 technology, or 04 technology, for the transmission between the controller and the drone, and that guarantees up to a 20 kilometer distance, which again is amazing. Now you can't fly that far in the United States because we have visual line of sight requirements, which means you have to keep the drone in your line of sight, but knowing you've got that strong a signal means you won't have to worry about losing a connection when you drop behind a building or a tree. It also means you're getting a 1080p 60 frames a second video feed back from the camera with really small latency. So what you're seeing on your controller is what the drone's seeing out there in the field. So 04 is the latest technology. In addition to that, there's a dual sensor on the front. You've got a one inch wide angle lens and you've got a one over 1.3 inch telephoto. So you're gonna be able to get great landscape shots with it. You're also gonna be able to pull in tight if you're looking for some wildlife out in the field. It can record 4K video up to 120 frames per second, which is absolutely amazing. So overall, it's an incredibly good drone. Now it's a safe drone as well because they've introduced 360 degree crash avoidance, which basically puts a 360 degree bubble around the drone. If you get close to something, it's gonna pull back. They've added LiDAR on the front, which works great in low light conditions. So it's even safer than the last generation. They've got an advanced version of APAS in there, which is advanced pilot assistance system, which means the drone is looking for holes between solid objects. And if you fly it into the woods, it's gonna find a hole that it can fit through and dodge a tree and not just stop, but actually fly past the tree. So they built all kinds of cool tech into the drone. So anyway, that's what the Air 3S presents. Now, if you've decided it's the right drone for you, that's when the questions start. Should I go with the original controller or should I go with an RC2? Should I go with the fly more combination or maybe just get the drone and the controller to start? So let's start off with the controllers. There are choices between the RCN3 and the RC2. So what you've got here is one with a screen built in and one that you'll use with your phone. So with this one, you'll basically pull up this holder on the top like this and there's a cable inside. You'll take your phone, you'll snap it in to the top like this, connect it up to the controller, and you're using your phone to actually view all the things that are going on, so your live video feedback, things like that, are done on the screen. So this is handy because, number one, it's less expensive, you can use your phone with it, but the nice thing about this is if you've got a tablet, you can add a tablet holder to it, and you can have a much larger screen. Now, I wouldn't suggest going with a 12-inch screen or something that big, but like an iPad mini is perfect to put on here to give you a little bit more screen real estate. The challenge with this one, though, is that you've got to have your phone charged, you've got to have the remote charged, you've got to have the cable with you, so there's a little bit more to work, uh, work on when you've got this out in the field. It's not as clean as the RC2. Now the RC2 has a screen built in, so if I turn this one on, it actually boots up. The operating system in here is Android. It's got the application loaded on it. It connects directly to the drone. It's basically an all-in-one controller. It's got the screen, like I said, and all the technology you need to make that connection. So for me, I like this one better because it makes that sort of spin up time and get up in the air time a little bit shorter. I also like the fact that with this one, I'm charging one device, I'm charging the drone, I'm charging the controller, and I'm off and I'm flying. With this one, I've got to charge the controller, I've got to make sure that I've got my phone charged, I've got to make sure I've got the cable with me. So a little bit more work, but if you're looking for a controller that you can put a larger screen on, that's the way to go. If you're looking for an all-in-one controller that just makes it simpler to get up in the air, this would be a great choice for you there. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about the Flymore combination because I know a lot of people are thinking, well, if I buy the Flymore combination, am I getting things that I won't really need? Are they charging me for things that I'm never gonna use? The short answer is no, because I can promise you once you put this drone up in the air, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is fly longer. 
And how do you fly longer? You've got to get extra batteries. So you're going to look for accessories. You're going to pick up a couple extra batteries. And then you're going to realize, gee, I've got to charge those batteries. Now, you can charge them in the drone, but charging a battery at a time and sliding them in and out of the drone just takes a long time to get those batteries charged. Plus, they don't charge as fast in the drone because DJI limits the amount of current that the drone will provide to that battery. So the first thing you're going to look for after you get a couple of extra batteries is a charging hub like this one. This charging hub will take three batteries with a single connection to a single charger, and it'll find the battery in the hub that needs the least amount of charge. It'll charge that one fully first. It'll then interrogate the other two batteries, find the one that needs the least amount of charge, charge that one next, then move on to the third one. So this gives you a way to charge up the three batteries, not simultaneously, but in succession. That's the second thing you're going to look for. So those come as part of the Fly More combo. When you're flying in sunny conditions or you're flying over reflective surfaces, you're going to need ND filters. Well, the Fly More combo includes ND filters from DJI. So in this kit, you're getting three ND filters that you can use on sunny days or cloudy days or if you've got reflective surfaces. And again, these pop right in the front. This pops off. You just twist it and pop those on the front. So in that Fly More combination, you've got batteries, you've got a hub, you've got uh, the filters on the front as well. Now the unit comes with a single battery. In the Fly More combo, you get two extra batteries for a total of three. It also comes with a bag, which I think is really important. And I know that seems like an afterthought, but again, if you're out in the field, look at all the stuff that I'm carrying. I've got the hub, I've got extra batteries, I've got filters, I've got a controller, I've got extra cables, I've got the drone, maybe I've got extra propellers. I need a place to carry all that out in the field to make sure that it's organized because what a bag will do is protect all of your gear and keep it really organized. So the fact that they include the bag means I know that when I pick up that bag, I've got everything I need to go out there and have fun flying that afternoon. So for me, if you're asking me if the Fly More combination makes sense, I know you're gonna go out and get extra batteries. They're included. I know you're gonna to want to hub to charge those extra battery. That's included. You're gonna need ND filters. You can buy them one at a time, but then they get expensive. Here you get a complete set from DJI that's been tested on the drone, it works with the drone, takes all that question out of the, uh, the issue around ND filters. So you get two extra batteries, the hub, the ND filters, and a really nice case, and extra propellers. That's the other thing I didn't talk about. When you're flying this, chances of you damaging a propeller are really small because of the crash avoidance built in. But when you're up there flying in the air, you're going to pick up all kinds of debris. There's dust up there, there are particles up there, there are bugs up there. So you're going to get uh, damage on these propellers over time. Always make sure you have extra propellers with you in your kit. Because if you're flying, and maybe you do nick a propeller because you did something goofy, you need an extra propeller to change it out. The Fly More combination comes with extra propellers. So for me, when you add up everything you get in the Fly More combination, it's a way better value than picking up all these things individually one at a time. So if you can afford the Fly More combination, my, uh, my experience has said that the Fly More is a better deal. Between the controllers, I just personally like the controller that has the screen built in, again, because it's simpler. I charge one device. And by the way, when you do updates to the application and the actual application, the DJI Fly application, that happens on the controller at the same time. So with here, I've got to upgrade the controller, maybe upgrade the phone application. This just makes everything a whole lot simpler. So again, if you're looking for what I feel is the best combination, it would be the Air 3S with the RC2 and the Fly More combination. And it's the most expensive of the group, but honestly, when you add up everything you get with the Fly More combination, like I'd mentioned, it's a better value to include all of that on your first purchase. But if you're just looking to get up in the air with the Air 3S, the RCN3 works just great. So you can use that with your phone and just start flying. And you can always upgrade to the RC2 later on if you want. And that's pretty much all I had for today. Now I went through that really quickly. So if you have any questions at all about anything I've covered or about the drone or just drones or technology in general, drop those in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. I really like talking about this technology. I fly this drone pretty much every day. So I've got a lot of experience with it. And quite frankly, I think it's one of the best drones flying today. I really say that because it does everything I need to do both as a hobbyist and a commercial flyer. And I don't have to take another drone with me. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And until next time, as always, <laughs> happy flying. Mm -hmm.